speaking Spanish. So I made a new friend today. He's from Portugal. So my friend from Italy. So I have this Belgian friend. So my German friend. Wait, okay, so my Dutch friend. So I met this girl from Colombia. Oh, puta madre. It's Olala, not Ulala. And you say Olala when something bad happens. You speak Japanese, right? Um, I don't speak Japanese. I thought you speak every language. Um, yeah, no. Um, I speak Latin-based languages, okay? Latin-based. Latin and Germanic-based. I don't speak every language, okay? Hey, um, so I accidentally turned my phone to, uh, I don't know what I hit, but like, I accidentally changed my phone to, uh, Portuguese. I, I think it's Portuguese. Um, do you know how to help me get back to language, the language back to English? Um, yeah, let me see. Um, there should be a button that says idioma. My phone is not in English, so you'll have to, you know what, you know what, here, it's what I'll do. I'll, um, just, just tell me the number and I'll put it in because sometimes people get confused. Like when you just said kaput, um, that's actually in German. It actually means broken. So look at that. <laughs> You're speaking some German. Okay, so for the party, we, um, I'm gonna be in charge of the music. Why do you always get to pick the music? Yeah, I, I, because you don't listen, you don't listen to anything in English, and nobody understands any of the music that you listen to. Um, hi. Um, were you here last class? Um, I decided not to come because I was hungover from that party this weekend. But I wanted to know, since you're always here every week, um, do you mind uh, sharing your notes with me? Um, I don't know if they'll be of use to you because um, I write my notes in French. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's my um, second first language. It feels, you know, like a, like a native language to me. So I always write in French so that people like you who don't bother coming to class or doing their work can, um, uh, can't uh, copy my notes. Oh my gosh, you know, learning languages is so easy. It's like once you get past a, a, a second language, like a third and, what, and a fourth, but not, it just gets simple. You just follow and follow the same thing that you just did, the, did before. So, yeah, because when I started learning Spanish, Spanish is similar to French. And then when I started learning German, German is similar to English. And then when I started learning Portuguese and Italian, they are both similar to Spanish and French. And then when I started learning Dutch, Dutch is like English and German, but like a much like more confusing version. Tengo un proyecto. ¿Qué algo más? Ah, mi proposición para la educación. Ah, tengo, tengo, creo. But you know what, I decided that in the middle, you know, while I was at home and whatnot, and you know, on employment and whatnot, I decided, mm -hmm. you know, I was going to start a business, and I thought uh -huh. that would be a great way to, you no. know. Oh, sorry. It's like, um, yeah, that's, um, sorry, that's, um, Dutch. It's supposed to, like, mean, like, cool or awesome or something like that. No, you just say it when good things happen to people. Hey, so I'm really trying to learn, um, I'm truly trying to learn uh, Italian, so I'm wondering, like, I don't know really where to start. Are you kidding me? Like, just just go to languageandpeople.org slash resources. Literally, like, because people ask me this all the time, so literally all you need to do is just incorporate in your everyday life. I got music recommendations that you can, can kind of get you started because most people listen to music anyway. Also, when I started learning Frisian, Frisian is like the second official language of the Netherlands, so basically, like, it's just kind of like a little bit of a combination of... Dutch and German, or just a little bit. And then when I started learning, I learned Catalan out of, out of curiosity because, like, I was like, well, if they speak it in Spain, then like, then it must be similar to Spanish. But it turns out it's just literally Spanish, French, and Italian mashed together in one language. Well, I am thinking that I want to learn Spanish so I can get a better job because apparently, like, uh, apparently Spanish is one of the top five languages that they're actually that are in demand in the United States. Wait, you want to learn Spanish? Okay, literally, I, you know, I got the hookup. There's this one friend of mine, her name is Jazz. She speaks like 10 languages, but like um, Spanish, I think it's like one of her top like four languages that she teaches. And like, you know, she has a whole website and everything. You just find all of the resources there. But like, she got you. Like, you know what, here, you know what? I'll get you, I'll get you her number. Uh, she got you. You understand? I, I understood none of that. I'm sorry, I don't speak French. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I have this habit.
it like um, sometimes like when I'm really tired, I have no idea what language is gonna come out. No, 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 no. That's 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 Canadian French. No, no, no. And then if you say it that, and if you say it the first way that you just said it, that's also um, that, that, they, that's it's common to hear that in Belgium. You would never, I would never say that. I was in France. Hey, um, hey, Jazz. Um, I have this friends that I'm like this this guy apparently he's French and I really want to go out with him I think he's kind of cute so um is there any way that you could kind of like uh translate for me so to say yeah okay first of all um it's not translating translating is for documents and written languages um you're asking me to interpret um and um first second of all um why do I need to, why am I, why am I always your go-to? You can also learn some French yourself so that you can learn, you can do it on your own instead of getting me to do everything for you. Hey Jazz, oh my gosh, I really, really want to learn French. And I was like, oh my gosh, my friend Jazz knows French. So I was like wondering like, can you teach me French? I really, really, really want to learn. You know, one of the things that really gets under my skin is like when people think that because I'm black and I speak French, that I'm Haitian. I am so excited about our trip to Italy because Jazz is going, which means she speaks Italian, which means that we'll be able to get around and read stuff and won't get lost. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, and just so you know that she's like, that, you know, the fact that she speaks Italian is the only reason why, um, you know, that we're um, inviting her. Hey Jazz, um, so what are you up to this weekend? Uh, we're thinking about going to a movie. Or actually, no, we're going to basically go to my house and then watch a premiere of a movie. Yeah, actually, I can't because I have to study. Um, I have, um, at 4 o'clock, at 4 a.m., I have to study my Italian, and then at 1 p.m., I st practice my uh, Spanish. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think I could ever really date someone who's, like, monolingual because I feel like I change, I like to change languages up so much that, like, I need to, I need to be at least with someone who speaks two or more. So, um, my friend from France told me to try this brand of sparkling water because apparently it comes from her hometown. If you ever decide to learn Dutch, which obviously I'm not, like, teaching you Dutch, but if you decided to learn Dutch, you would just, you would notice that, like, basically the, the sounds and some of the words are, like, the same. So, like, you know, when you say, like, like Guten Morgen, um, it's Guten Morgen in, in, in Dutch. Oh my gosh, you speak, like, ten languages. Can I, like, hear you say something in, like, all of them? You know, Jazz, I'm really, I'm actually, in a way, like, kind of jealous of you, because I just feel like I would love to travel with you, because you're just, like, you speak all these languages, you can go anywhere, you don't have to 